time of coming here. I hope I'm not impinged on your marketing or shopping screen. <laughs> but um, thank you. Now I uh, will begin in a very abrupt way in the sense that I was always interested in science and knowledge and facts and but my work of course kept me away from all these kind of things. So when I retired I became member of the Royal Institute and the Royal Overseas League and Royal Academy and Science and things like that, so that I could attend lectures and courses in these uh, in the subjects of science and philosophy. Can you hear? There is plus philosophy and you know and ideologies and things like that. Anyways, for two years I spent doing that. It was very enjoyable. And I learnt a lot. But then there's that much lectures you can attend. And so uh, they say that, you know, uh, you talk about it and uh, all about it and then ever more you come out from the same door as in you go. <laughs> in philosophy, it goes around in circles. So after that, I, I said that I must do something different. I must do some enterprising thing that will keep me much more occupied personally rather than just going and listening to people. So then I started writing something about uh, why, I mean, I'm an Iranian. So why did these Iranian people in the, in the 1850s, 19th century Louder. from Iran and went off to, to India and other places too? Uh, what was wrong, what went wrong that they, in Iran that attracted them to come to the colony of, the British colony of India? And so the research went on and I compiled various facts and figures and I started writing and then that sort of thing finished and my, my aunt Shiri, you know, bless her, she died and she left a lot of paper about Burma where, we were, where, I, where I was born and she had written a lot in various paper, slips of papers and, and, uh, and her diaries and things like that. With age I think she started sort of repeating things and all that so I compiled the whole thing and started writing about the Burma days. And it was quite a traumatic period, uh, you know, four years, not of, under the British rule, but under the Japanese rule. Because they were the real colonizers of the hardcore type. <coughs> so I wrote that. Then one friend uh, suggested that, look, you're writing all this, why don't you write an autobiography? I said, well, autobiography, you know, everybody retired with plans to write an autobiography. We all aim to do that. I don't want to write a run of the mill, unless I can think of something that would be a little bit add value to the book, rather than just an auto, auto Then I thought about, I said, yes, I will write about a decade, say from 1850 when the Iranian had come out, and then I'll write what was happening during that decade around the world, in science, literature, art, politics, ideologies, so then the next decade again I wrote all about whatever we did, adventures, adventures, misadventures and all sorts of things. And again I started writing about 